The performance test application provides a means to measure the network's ability to transport UDP traffic at a specific rate. As the test is running, the application will measure the throughput, latency, packet loss, and jitter of the packets between the performance test generator and the performance test endpoint. Performance test supports two types of endpoints, peers and reflectors. Peers include the CyberScope, EtherScope NXG, and the LinkRunner 10G. A Windows-based software agent, the LinkRunner AT2000 or the LinkRunner G2 are reflectors. A peer or reflector is required to run a performance test. The performance test application requires a wired connection using the port on the top of the unit to run. If you're using the copper or fiber test ports, you must run an auto test to connect the port to the network and obtain an IP address. Before configuring the performance test, start the performance peer. In this case, I'm using a LinkRunner 10G as the peer. This will support full duplex performance tests up to 10 gigabits per second over copper or fiber connections. I've already run an auto test to connect the LinkRunner 10G to the wired network connection. From the menu in the upper left corner of the screen, I'll select performance peer. From this screen, I can see the current link speed the IP address of the performance peer, and the UDP port that will be used for the test. I'll jot down the IP address of the peer, as I'll need it to configure the test on the device initiating the performance test. The last step is to tap on Start at the top of the screen to start the performance peer. The peer will listen on the specified UDP port for traffic from the performance generator. Now let's move over to the performance generator. I'll begin by setting the test duration. This is accomplished by tapping on the settings icon at the top of the screen and duration. Duration may be set to one of the values displayed. In this case, I'll set it to five minutes. Then I'll tap OK. Next, I'll set up the first service. Once a service has been created, it may be used by multiple performance tests. Services may be created by tapping on the action button in the lower right corner of the screen. Up to eight services may be run at the same time. These services may all use the same endpoint or different endpoints. It is best to provide a descriptive name for the service. In this case, I'm going to run a test to ensure that my video conferencing application will work properly over the network. Prior to setting up the test, I went out to the provider's website to locate the bandwidth, latency, packet loss, and jitter requirements. We'll call this service Video Conference. Next, I'll set the IP address of my performance peer. Since I'm using a LinkRunner 10G as the peer, I'll set the endpoint type to peer. If I was using a LinkRunner G2 or a LinkRunner AT2000 as an endpoint, I would leave the endpoint type set to reflector. When I set the endpoint type to peer, the traffic flow option appears. When using a peer as an endpoint, it is possible to set up asymmetrical throughput rates. In this case, I'd like to have the rate the same in both directions. So I'll set the traffic flow to symmetrical. I'll tap OK. Now I'm done configuring the endpoint. I'll tap the back arrow. If I know the average frame size of the traffic sent by the service, I can enter the frame size option. For this test, the default frame size of 512 bytes will work well. Tapping on bandwidth allows me to set the rate at which the UDP frames are sent. I'll tap on target rate to set the data rate. I could select one of the preset values. In this case, I know the application needs up to three megabits per second of bandwidth. I'll tap the edit icon next to custom value. I'll enter three and tap OK. Then I'll tap OK and the back arrow. Now I'll tap on thresholds. If the measured traffic is within these thresholds, the test will pass. If it's outside these thresholds, the test will fail. Let's start with the frame loss threshold. The website for the video conferencing application recommends a packet loss of less than 2%. Tapping on the edit icon next to custom value, I can set the loss threshold to 2%. I'll tap OK. Next, I'll tap on the jitter threshold. Jitter is the variation in the inner frame gap between streamed packets. Increased jitter will result in degraded voice and video. The recommendation for this application is less than 30 milliseconds. 
I'll enter a custom value of 30 milliseconds and tap OK. The recommended latency is less than 100 milliseconds. Since that is the default value, I'll leave it at the default. Now I'll tap the back arrow to the service definition. For this video, I'll leave the layer 2 options and layer 3 options set to their default values. To test the quality of service settings in routers, the type of service setting may be changed under layer 3 options. Now that the configuration is complete, I'll tap the back arrow to go to the performance settings screen. Tapping on the three dots next to the service allows me to duplicate the service or delete it. Keep in mind that a service may be used by multiple performance test configurations. Deleting the service will remove it from all performance tests. I'll tap back to go to the performance screen and tap start to begin the test. As the tests are running, the throughput, loss, latency, and jitter values are updated automatically. Tapping on service will display the detailed results. The results of the test may be displayed over time in the graphs on this screen. The slider below each graph provides a means to zoom in and out of the graph. Tapping on the expand icon will display the entire time span of the tests on the graph. You may move across the time span by holding your finger on the graph and dragging left or right. For each of the thresholds, the current, maximum, and average values are displayed. The average value is compared to the limit to determine if the threshold is within limits. If the test tool has been claimed to link live, the test results are automatically uploaded. If you would like to upload the graphs as well, tap on the three dots in the upper right corner and tap Upload Graphs to link live.